Hello guys, it's Simply Jake, and today we're gonna talk about Minecraft Bamboo. We'll look into how to get it, we'll talk about how to use it because it has some really fun uses in this game. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a simple tutorial on how to build a farm if you don't have tons upon tons of slime blocks or honey blocks. Uh, but be aware that this design uses quartz, so you need to visit the nether first though. Okay, so probably the most obvious way to get yourself a bamboo is just to find a jungle biome and try to search there. Uh, you will eventually end up with, uh, with bamboo because it should be there. But if for some reason you can't find the jungle biome or for some reason you, your jungle biome doesn't have any bamboo in it, you can always try other ways. If you are still trying to find jungle biome in order to get yourself a bamboo, I really recommend doing that while swimming in the oceans because there is around 10% chance that you find bamboo in the shipwrecks. Okay, so this part is especially for the people who enjoy water because if your jungle biome for some reason doesn't have any bamboo in it, you can try fishing while standing in a jungle biome. That yields small chance, but it's possible to get yourself a bamboo this way. If you had enough luck and you found jungle temple, chances are that it will probably contain bamboo because it's like 50% to spawn in it. So, so yeah, you have bamboo and other loot too. Okay guys, so if other ways didn't work for you, there is one final way to get yourself a bamboo you must be in a jungle biome and you must wait for a panda to spawn uh, if for some reason you would want to kill them for that bamboo you can do it in java edition they will always drop one but uh, due to their sweetness i won't show this in this tutorial Bamboo has a lot of uses, but when it comes to building things, it is mostly used in decorational purposes only. For example, you can place it in a pot, you can design some fancy tables with it, you can play around and build some weird stairs that are pretty fancy, you can place bamboo and mob head on top of it, or in this case skeleton head to design cool looking lamppost, uh, and you can build a scaffolding with it. Okay, scaffolding, a really cool topic because you can use it to do a lot of things. Uh, firstly, it's nice table. Uh, you can you can put it almost in any building. But when it comes to crafting this, you you only need six bamboos. You only need one string, and you get six scaffoldings. And what's cool about this block is that when you place it once you can just spam it on this one block and it will just stack up as as high as you want you can use this whole block like a ladder and you can go down as well and what's cool about it is when you are to on top of it you can just place the scaffolding on the side but no more than i believe it's six blocks from the from the middle one yeah it's six blocks no more than six blocks uh, but it's still pretty nice way to ease yourself while building a lot of things and if you want to destroy this you don't have to just destroy every block you just have to destroy the the one that is connected to the ground fun fact apart from scaffolding you can also craft sticks with it Scaffolding is not only useful while building things, you can also use it on your travels. Uh, for example, if you want to cross a big gap and you don't have any materials uh, to f that you want to spend on building bridge, you can just do it with the scaffolding. Uh, when it comes to the end, it will just stack itself back up and you will be able to pick another direction and where you want to go. So yeah. It's pretty easy to craft, it's pretty easy to build, and it's even easier to 
get back to your equipment. Okay, so another cool application of bamboo is that it can be used as a wall against raids. Uh, apparently enemies just can't go through them, even when they are standing right in the gap, they just, they just can't do that. So it's a pretty efficient way to stop raids on your villages. Okay guys, but remember that fire is not a good way to, to go with bamboo and defending against the raid because you can end up just like me. <laughs> I quickly jumped into my single player test world because I want to show you that bamboo can be really, really useful when it comes to smelting things because its outstanding fuel source uh, can be used almost indefinitely as long as you have enough storage of bamboo you'll be able to smelt almost everything in almost any quantity and probably that's one of the best applications of bamboo in minecraft okay everyone so now is the time to finally build this thing uh, but before we do that be sure to hit that like button under the video subscribe to my channel it's just a great way to notify me if i'm doing good content if you enjoy it if something's wrong or you just want to share your opinion, leave a comment down below and yeah, let's get this building started. Okay guys, you know me. Materials are coming up next and here they are. So, you will need 20 blocks of dirt, around 6 stacks of building blocks. I recommend using something transparent like glass or stained glass uh, because if you use solid blocks, you will lose slightly uh, efficiency of the farm but i will explain this later in the video uh, you will need minecart with hopper uh, you will need one hopper three powered rails eight normal rails two chests nine redstone repeaters one stack of redstone dust six redstone torches on top of that you will need one stack of solid block that can be used to build redstone with uh, you will need for observers, you can use one, but once more, you will lose efficiency of the farm. Two levers, 30 torches, and 20 bamboo. When it comes to the farm, it's rather small design. Uh, it's not meant to be used in a super smelter of sorts. Uh, basically, it will cover one, maybe two furnaces. I've personally used it with one furnace, and I was good. Although I had to put some extra coals in it, so the coals can burn uh, while the bamboo is uh, filling up the ch double chest of uh, of this buffer and after that you should be go you should be good um, but once more it's not meant to be a part of super smelter if you want a bamboo farm in a super smelter you will need a lot more of that and you probably need slime blocks or honey blocks in order to harvest it so yeah it's it's rather or your or personal needs while living early game. What you want to start with is just simple 2x10 platform of some blocks. Uh, I recommend using solid blocks because if you will use solid blocks uh, here you can use lever here so that the powered rails you will put will be powered. Uh, you can do that on glass as you can see so keep that in mind. Uh, what you want to do is pick a site on where you want to be your chest to be. I will pick this site and you want to put this, the chest uh, diagonally from this corner and place some Minecraft, Minecraft hopper uh, pointed at this chest. After that you want to place powered rail here, normal rails here and just follow my pattern. So it should be something like that. After that, you want to place a solid block here and you're done, bottom, bottom layer is done. After you've done that, you want to place dirt blocks or sand blocks, as you prefer, uh, above every rail that you put, uh, but not this powered rail. And now you want to surround this whole platform with one layer of uh, block of your choice. But I recommend using something like glass uh, because it's transparent and bamboo need a light level of 9 in order to grow. So uh, as you can see I've put torches here, we will do that in a while. 
but after you've done the first layer, you want to put piston pointing inwards on this wall right here, so that when it extends, it covers uh, all of this area. Now what you want to do is extend every wall uh, to a height of 12 blocks. So we have two blocks of height and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's the minimal height growth, growth of uh, bamboo. Uh, so you want to do that on each block that you've placed. After you've done that, it should look something like that. Now it's the time to do the redstone part of the farm. So we will quickly just count three blocks from the end of the farm and place solid blocks here all the way here and repeat this on the other side after that you want to place observer he observer here sorry point pointed right there okay nice <laughs> sorry uh, second here two blocks apart from the first one uh, and fourth one here so it looks so something like that uh, the red thingy of the observer should be pointed into solid block and now you want to cover all of that with redstone so it looks just like this okay so the next step is to go to the side and we want to transfer this redstone signal down below and to do that we need to place a block here and block here three blocks like that place redstone here and repeater with uh, four ticks right here torch here and we want to go two blocks below place redstone on top of it redstone torch on the side repeat and once more okay and now you want to go one block here so it looks just like this and what you want to do is create this layer next to the pistons and uh, uh, place redstone repeaters pointing at this block and note that this block has to be solid so uh, that the redstone signal gets transferred through it and you want to place a line of solid blocks behind every piston So it looks just like this. And now we want to transfer this signal even lower to the minecart. In order, in, or, in order to do that, sorry, uh, you want to place redstone torch here and go two blocks below. Redstone torch here. And what you want to do is uh, basically just create this loop of signal that goes to the minecart and we need that loop because the minecart has to go after all of the bamboo is right here on this layer of the earth and place either redstone or just solid block here it can be uh, good both ways and you want to put solid block above the minecart hopper and you're done okay now that the redstone part is done you want to place your bamboo and in order to do that you can uh, destroy this whole layer of blocks and place a bamboo and you can set torches on this layer of the earth and count five blocks above one two three four five and on the five uh, block you want to place second layer of torches uh, keep in mind that if you used solid blocks the light from these torches won't penetrate it and you will have to probably just do something like this like here uh, this is slightly worse way because bamboo can get stuck uh, on the side here and uh, you will have 
slightly loss of efficiency, but that's okay if you can't afford uh, transparent blocks or just don't you just don't like the looks of them. And uh, you want to count five blocks from this line of torches uh, again. One, two, three, four, and five. And on the five layer, you want to place your torches. Okay, so uh, now it's the time to place our minecart hopper here. Uh, keep in mind that it has to be minecart hopper so it can pick uh, items of this block. Uh, additionally, if you want to further uh, extend the efficiency of this farm, and you've used uh, transparent blocks like I did here, you can place a layer of them here so the items won't fall to this, through this gap. But if you have solid blocks instead of glass, you will probably want to have this gap here because uh, the bamboo will not grow without light. And now I want to show you how to hook this uh, buffer to existing uh, smelter. Uh, what you want to do is place hopper here and point uh, sorry place furnace here and pa uh, place a hopper pointed into it uh, so uh, so that it can uh, pick items from the chest and put them into the furnace uh, this one they didn't put because it's not a uh, fuel source uh, and you want to place one hopper on top of it and one topper uh, on the bottom of it so yeah now you can have indefinite amount of uh, bamboo as fuel source uh, if you want to smelt something you just want to uh, put it here you can place even a uh, chest on top of it so the items go straight to the upper slot uh, if you want uh, you can also throw in uh, some coal here because as you can see bamboo gets really fast uh, at burning and uh, you'll probably run out of it uh, pretty quickly without supply. Uh, and here is your melted item. So yeah, just before we end this tutorial, uh, I want to share with you a quick tip, because if you don't have diamond pick uh, for that obsidian and you really want the quartz for observers, you can use uh, water and lava buckets uh, in order to build yourself a portal. Uh, all you want to do is just place a water and place lava. Uh, it doesn't have to be a uh, water source block, you can just do it like here. Uh, but keep in mind that if you use it the other way, so the first is lava and then water, the lava will disappear. So that's, for, that's it for the tip. I hope that everything is uh, clear. If something's wrong, please reach out to me in comments, I will help you as soon as I can. And see you in the next video. Bye!